All right, so today I'm going to answer question three of mathematics past paper 2017. So here we go. It's all about construction. So now with construction, it's all about you being able to interpret the instructions and then making sure that you happen to draw that which is expected of you. Okay, that which you expected to draw or to construct. So now, the first one, the first set of instructions read, construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 10 centimeters. So now that line AB is actually the best line of the quadrilateral. So you need to know that a quadrilateral, the quadrilateral, a quadrilateral, is actually a, a four-sided polygon so now here we go we uh, we need to take on the first instruction that is drawing of the line a b so now for you to draw the line a b what you need to do is uh you need to 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 pick your rule and then you see the rule has two sides there's one side which is actually demarcated in uh, inches so this side is demarcated in inches and the other side is demarcated in centimeters so we are making use of the side which is demarcated in centimeters so now when you are taking measurements you need to start from zero so zero and the saying line a b is equal to centimeters so 10 is here uh, so i'm gonna draw the line a b the line AB. So here we go. Are you able to see this? Okay, beautiful. So now I will make a mark here on 10. And uh, another mark on 0. So thereafter, I'm going to draw this line. And then after doing that, I will need to indicate that's line A, B. So I will indicate this starting point as A and the ending point as B. And after having done that, I'll get back to the set of instructions and I'll read what I'm expected of. So say angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C is equal to 120 degrees. So now here you need to consider the angle, uh, which is, okay, so you need to consider the, the point which is in the middle. So when you check out, we have B, yeah, that's the vertex B. So since it's the one which is, which is in the middle, so then we know that at point B, that's where we're going to sketch this angle, which is 120 degrees. So now we'll pick that one from the protractor. So now since the angle is, is supposed to be here, so what I would need to do is I will put the protractor there. Check out the midsection is actually on that point. And then I make sure that this line is in line with the best line. And then I pick the 120 from this side, not that side. Okay, so when you put the, the protractor on your right side, on, on your right hand side, then you need to make use of the scale, which starts from here. That's zero. If it's this side, we'll make use of the upper, the, the, the lower scale rather. That is zero something something. Okay, so now here we go. What we want is 120. So from here, okay, beautiful. So now, 120 is somewhere here, so that would be 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, that's 100, 120 is there. Sorry, I'm using, uh, I'm using a pen. You don't need to mix the pen and pencil. So that's 120. 120 is there. Now, we don't know how long that line will be, so we'll need to make use of faint lines. So now, I will connect that point, this point here, to 
point B. Now I'm gonna draw a faint line because I don't know how long that line will be. After having done that, I can move on to the next set of instructions. So now what are they saying? They're saying angle BA is equal to 60 degrees. So this time around, we are going to construct an angle on point A. So I get to my drawing. I check where A is, and it's right here. So now I'm shifting the protractor. And when I put the protractor here, what I'll do is I will make use of this uh, scale, which is the lower scale. Right, so, the, so the lower scale runs from here. That is 0. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 60 is here, so I'll need to make a mark there. Now the thing is, I don't know how long this line will be. So I will simply make a faint line. So here we go. I draw a line from A through the space to that point. Okay, beautiful. Now having done that, the next thing is I'll need to fall back on the set of, the set of instructions that I've been given. So now they're saying uh, B, C is equal to 7 centimeters. So we know the starting point is B, point B, and then the ending point is C. So now we go to the diagram, we check where B is. So B is here. And then the saying it has to go to C. From B it will go to C. So we need to pick the seven centimeters from here because BC, which is line BC, is equal to seven centimeters. So BC, I'm gonna plant the pair of compasses on uh, th that sharp point, that sharp part on the on on zero, extend it to seven centimeters. Okay, pick that dimension. Then I plant the pair of compasses at B and then extend it okay there we go I haven't changed the the dimensions so what I'll do is I'll simply make a mark cutting the first line that I had made so I well know now that C point C is at that point so now I can make this line bold because I know its starting point and its ending point so that's line BC. After having done that, let me move on to the next set of instructions. So the saying, what they're saying now is uh, AD, that's line AD is equal to 11 centimeters. So from A to D is 11 centimeters. I get back to my, my, my drawing. I check where e, A is. So A is here. And then we all know that from A to D is 11 centimeters. So I'll make use of the, the rule here. So I pick 11 centimeters by planting the pair of compasses at zero, then extending it to 11 centimeters. So 11 centimeters is the. Okay, so now after picking that one, I will plant the pair of compasses here. At A, I can check this one out, then I extend, okay, so here we go, I strike an arc, cutting the line that I had drawn in the first place. So now I can make this line a bold line, since I know where it's starting from and where it's ending. So from here to there, it's actually 11 centimeters. So this point now will be named point D. Okay, so now after having done that, what are they saying there? So, okay, now since we are done with all those that we expected to construct, I can now conjoin the two points, that is point D and C. So here we go. I conjoin these two points, that C and D. Okay, so now beautiful. So check this one out. What I have now is quadrilateral with the vertices A, B, C, and D. So now what are they saying? It's just a matter of you following the, the instructions. So now what they're saying, they're saying measure, that's B, measure and write the length of 
line CD. So where's line CD? So line CD, you simply check on, on your diagram. Line CD is this one here. So simply measure. I put the, the, the ruler starting from where the zero mark is. So if I measure this one, what I'm finding here is this is 8. 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8 8.4. That's 8.5, 8.6, 8.7. So now B, <clears throat> the answer for, the answer to B is that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. So what I'm going to write is this. I'm going to write to say CD is equal to 8.5. Seven centimeters. Okay, so now after having done that, I move on to the next set of instructions. It's saying within the quadrilateral ABCD that is on the inside, draw the locus of points which are eight centimeters from A. So now what you need to know is when when you ask to to draw the locus of points from a point, then you need to know that's a circle that you're drawing. So now here we go. The locus of points which are 8 centimeters from point A. So point A is here. So what I'll do is uh, I will draw. I'll simply pick 8 centimeters first of all from here. After picking 8 centimeters. I'll need to draw the locus of points. So the locus uh, is simply the path taken by a point uh, given a particular condition. So I will draw within, I'll draw the locus of points within the quadrilateral. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's the wonder. So now after having done that, let's move on to the next set of instructions. So now they're saying, Draw the locus of points which are, that's number two, equidistant from BC and CD. So those are two lines. BC is the line with the point B as the starting point, then C the ending point, then line C and D. Let's check. Line, line BC on our diagram is this one here. Line BC and then line cd is that one there so now when you check out they're saying line bc and cd line bc and cd now when you see that you need to know that you 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 have to check for the common vertex which is c so this one is a is, is actually an angle bisector so what i'll do is i will bisect angle c so angle c is this angle which is actually on the inside opposite the vertex C. So how do you bisect an angle? This is how you bisect an angle. You open the pair of compasses to any dimension and then you plant the sharp point on that vertex. Then you strike an arc. Okay, beautiful. You strike an arc. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> After you've, you've stricken an arc, I remember this arc ought to be a faint arc. So then from there, I shift the pair of compasses to that point. I strike an arc. I shift the pair of compasses, plant it on that other end. I strike an arc. Now check this one out. There is this meeting point of these two arcs, this point here, the point where the two arcs are meeting. That's where the line will pass when I draw it. So I'll need to draw this line within the quadrilateral. Now check this one out. The starting point will be point C of vertex C, and then it will pass through the intersection point of the two arcs. So here we go. Check this one out. You have to give it a short C if it will really, really pass through 
intersection point. So let me move this so that you're able to see clearly what I'm doing. Okay, beautiful. So now since they're saying it has to be drawn within the quadrilateral, so we need to know where it's starting from and where to end. So that's more like a confinement. So we're starting, we are starting from this point here and then it will end here. So let me draw this line. Okay, there we go. So that's it. That's it. That's how we go about it. That's how, that's how we go about it. Let's read the other instructions. Let's read the other instructions. So now, what are they saying in the other instructions? What they're saying is this. Okay, so now in the in the other instructions they're saying a point P within the quadrilateral ABCD is such that it is eight centimeters from A. So we well know that this locus of points we had drawn is actually eight centimeters from A. So we know the confinement of uh, that point they're describing here. Yeah? It's within this range. Okay, so the saying a point P is within the quadrilateral ABCD is such that it is eight centimeters from A and equidistant from BC and CD. Equidistant from BC, so the line BC is this one, and CD, so meaning this line here determines where it's going to be. Okay, so now let's read on. And then they're saying label point P. Uh, label point P. A, P. a point P within the quadrilateral ABC. It says that it is 8 centimeters from A and equidistant from BC and uh, equidistant from BC and CD. It's equal in distance from BC and CD. You can label that point. So now, where is it going to be? I'm going to give you time to figure out where we are going to to, to, to to label that point. Let me even place the paper here. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so where is that point? So the point is here. Okay, so this is the point. That's the point P. Okay, so now away from that, if you, you found that answer, then well and good. Let's move on to the next set of instructions. They're saying another point Q within the quadrilateral ABCD such that it is nearer to CD. So check this one where is CD? is nearer to CD, so CD is that line there, it is nearer to CD, and then than, it is nearer to CD than BC, and greater than or equal to 8 centimeters. So we all know that that point is actually near, it's, it's actually near, near, nearer to CD than to BC. It's greater, it's greater or uh, equal to eight centimeters. Okay, so from here to there, it says, so it's greater or equal to centimeters. Than from what? From A. Indicate by shading the region in which Q must lie. So unless these instructions are read well, it's, it's practically difficult to locate where they are. So I will read through this once more. Another point Q within the quadrilateral ABC such that it is nearer to the line CD than the line BC and greater than or equal to 8 centimeters from A. So this line, this point they're talking about is closer to CD than BC, but it's greater, so 
it's greater than 8 centimeters from A. So A is here. The confinement of 8 centimeters is this locus of points we had drawn. So that point is greater than 8 centimeters. So meaning it's beyond. It should be this side or that side. But there's a condition that it shouldn't be closer to CD. But it should be closer. It shouldn't be closer to BC but closer to CD. Okay, so now the saying indicate by shading the region in which Q must lie. So clearly the point uh, rather the region Q or the region they are describing here should lie in this portion of our diagram. Okay, so now we are going to indicate that this is a point by actually indicating Q there. So that's how you, you ought to go about uh, constructions, construction and low side, children of high less last. Okay, so look forward to other vids where we'll answer a couple of questions that have to do with construction. And remember to follow me on YouTube by simply punching in the keywords physics and math made simple by Elisha Berry. Thank you so much. Stay blessed.